welcome to the Libra reading for um, July of 2017. So this is your Libra singles reading if you are Libra sun, moon, rising, um, I guess maybe Venus, uh, but also if you're spying on a Libra, like you're wondering what's up with that single Libra, or maybe a Libra is your ex and you're super jealous and you're like, I hope that bitch didn't move on, <laughs> something like that. But um, personally, uh, a lot of people will watch these, right, for their sun sign, but I like to watch my moon sign just because um, moons correlate to your emotions and what's really important in relationships and love, your emotions, right? So I would encourage you to watch your moon sign as well if this is not your moon sign. So we'll just go ahead and get started and see what we can kind of expect in the month of July. So um, how are you seeing yourself in regards to love in the month of July? Um, I would take this a couple of different ways. Number one, you might not be feeling particularly romantic or like you just haven't met anyone that you want to show romance and love to. Part of you might just be feeling like, I don't know that I'm up for it this month. Like I got a lot of other stuff on my plate. Maybe love isn't um, the thing that I really want to work on the most. Like I don't know that I want to take time to get to know people, to meet them. Like you might just kind of um, shut down <laughs> the communication a little bit. And that's okay. There must be a reason for it this month. So I want to switch decks and find out what that reason is is um, respect. You're valuing everyone's unique perspective on the path to love. So perhaps, you know, you're meeting people and their values and desires um, as far as long term just aren't aligning with yours. And so you're like, why would I try to get to know you? Because I can't convince you to want the same things as me. And so what's even the point, right? That might be where you're at. Now, how are others seeing you in the month of July in regards to love single Libras? Well, they want to move quickly. <laughs> they want to move quickly. They see you as the kind of person that's like, this is what I've tried to manifest. This is what I've desired. And whether they want the same things as me or not, like, I want to get to know them. And so that could be a little bit frustrating. You might feel um, like, gosh, I don't know about this person. And now they're like kind of becoming a little bit clingy or, you know, like they just don't stop trying. And it's like, why? Because we don't want the same thing necessarily. <laughs> so what should you be um, doing about this situation? And it says this situation isn't over. There are lessons that you're going to learn here. And um, a lot of these lessons have to do with building your own confidence. So even if you know that somebody isn't right for you, the fact that they're putting you on a pedestal and they're looking at you like this is the smartest, sexiest, like most beautiful individual on the inside and out that I've ever met, like their enthusiasm for you kind of um, builds you up. Whether you want to do anything with them or not, like whether you want to engage with them or not, even give it a shot, it's actually a really good thing for you in order to be in the right place where you feel like you're deserving of the love that might come at you later, right? Now, what should you be avoiding this month in regards to love? And I'm getting a mixed message with that one. Okay. Okay, so a few things. Um, <laughs> what you should be avoiding is um, like this inclination to not be direct because you don't want to hurt people. So, you know, for example, in this situation where somebody's values maybe don't align with yours, where maybe they want something different than what you want, you might not tell them that. You might be inclined to ghost them um, because you don't want to be a bitch. But it's like you kind of have to be. You have to be direct this month. And so you want to avoid that inclination. Now, it's saying here that you've been doing a really good job focusing on the positives, right? Like seeing the best in people. It's a very Libra thing to do. But maybe they're just not right for you. And so, you know, these decisions have to be made quickly. They have to change like overnight. You just have to get it out there. And so it's saying um, you know what you want. And so you got to like just take action here, okay? You can't be just like resting on your laurels and um, like just thinking, oh, maybe I don't know them well enough yet, giving them the benefit of the doubt because you know you've already done the work to figure out what you want in this process of healing that you're going through. And so this point in time, you might um, feel kind of hopeless, um, like the things that you want just aren't out there, you know, like, um, okay, well, I'm in my 30s now, and I want somebody who um, doesn't already have kids and hasn't been divorced. Okay, well, 
you know, like those kind of people don't exist anymore. Like those kind of people are already married and blah, blah, blah. Those are negative thought patterns that we don't need to have. We need to avoid feeling like we're never going to find our happily ever after feeling like it's hopeless for one, feeling like we don't have control over um, our own destiny via the law of attraction and our thoughts. Now, it's been annoying probably for you as well as for me when I'm doing, you know, 24 readings in the span of a week um, for YouTube aside from the private readings that I'm doing where it's always about law of attraction. But it's kind of like the theme of the year I'm getting in which, you know, we are learning as a collective that our thoughts do kind of dictate our reality and what we bring into our life. And this is important, um, and it's actually even proven because there's this whole new, um, like, field of positive psychology, and all of these, like, big universities, like, really focus on it. All of these, you know, psych psychologists and psychiatrists with doctorates are kind of shifting towards positive psychology, and there's a reason for that, and it's because it does work. And so I think that's our collective lesson, and that's why it's going to pop up in these readings. Now, what can you do this month in order to grow, increase, um, or attract the likelihood that we'll meet our forever um, love partner? And what it's saying is just understand that you can't control everything all of the time. Like, it's okay to say, I can't handle this. Like, we've got, you've got a lot of responsibilities that you're trying to juggle, Libra. And they might have nothing to do with love. It could be with family. It could be with friendships. It could be like finding the balance, you know, with work and all of that stuff, your work-life balance. And maybe that's why we're maybe thinking like we're not going to put a ton of time into relationships and things. Um, but they're like, just kind of let that go. You know, let these self-limiting thoughts kind of stop because it's hopeless to sit in that energy and be like, oh, well, I can't, I can't. They're like, you don't have to pay so much attention to all of the details all of the time, you know? So it's, it, for example, it's like, um, you know, maybe you want to load the dishwasher a certain way, okay? And it's because the dishes become more clean that way, but it takes longer. It's like, just fucking put them in there, hit the button, the ones that are still dirty, leave them in there, take the ones out that are clean and repeat, you know, it's like, we don't have to get hamstrung on the details of things, is basically what this lesson is. So what is working for you this month? You know, maybe astrologically or just in your individual circumstance. I want to say, too, this is a general reading. So um, the way to get, like, a very precise um, reading is to get a personal one, whether it's with me or with somebody else. But this is for thousands of Libras. So take the parts that resonate for you and the rest of it, um, Maybe leave it behind. Although I am releasing this in the month of June. And so, you know, as July progresses, maybe you feel like in the beginning of this reading, certain things didn't make sense. Come back to it in a couple of weeks. Bookmark it, whatever. Set a reminder for yourself. And then when you come back to it, you'll see, okay, that didn't make sense then, but it does now because it hasn't happened yet. So, um, you know, because our brain isn't going to hold on to the things that don't, um, you know, fit for us at the time that we're watching this. So anyway, what is working for you? Interesting. What's working for you is that maybe offers aren't coming in as often as they used to before. And why is that a positive thing? Why is that working for you? Because You've been in this space where you might have been inclined because you didn't want to be alone to take up offers that weren't the best thing for you. Um, to be with people who maybe didn't give um, the appropriate amount of time, energy, love, whatever, to the situation where there would be an imbalance. And so they're like, you know, the fact that these things aren't coming in means that you don't have to make any tough decisions. And when you're already stressed out and trying to balance all of these things, it's like, well, that's not such a bad thing, is it really? We've got to frame it positively there. Now, it's saying that you're not particularly connected this month to spirit um, in or God, Allah, whatever it is that you believe in. Um, and, and so, therefore, your luck on a divine level isn't really there in the month of July. But why is that a positive thing? I want to find out. Because it says it's working for you. And what it says is because um, moving, you know, through July and into August, 
that disconnect from spirit, from God, Allah, spirit guides, whatever, the universe, that disconnect that we're feeling is going to make us feel unhappy, right? And in that unhappiness, then we're going to be forced to think about why the hell am I so unhappy, right? And then that spurs us into action where before we're just resting, like, you know, doing the best we can on a day-to-day -day level. And then all of a sudden relationships become a priority and we start making positive affirmations for what we're trying to draw in. And so don't beat yourself up if you're having days where you feel down, where you don't really want to get out of bed, where you don't want to. This whole thing about not wanting to put the work in is okay because it's going to spur us into action at a greater rate and speed down the line towards the end of July and moving into August. Now, what is working against you? Um, <laughs> that you're not already coupled, but one, when you meet the right person, it's going to move fast. You'll be boom overnight. Okay. And so, um, <clears throat> the fact that you're not already like in this committed bond, um, it, it is something that does make you sad. Okay. Because a lot of you watching this video are looking for commitment, but when, but when that comes, it's like, boom, it's just like dominoes fall. Okay. It's like the kind of relationship where it's like you meet, you go on a date, you go on a date the very next day, and before you know it, they're moving their shit into your house. Okay. So what is the overall outcome for you in the month of July in regards to love, single Libras? They're like, you got to figure out what you're going to do about your day-to-day -day balance. Um, they're like, quit defending things. So I just want to... Um, give you an example of a Libra that I know. And so I won't, um, I'll try not to give it away for anyone who might know this person, but you know, this person has a struggle right now in regards to, um, work-life balance, constantly stressed. And so then naturally I would say maybe it's time to switch jobs to find a different job because this one isn't working for you anymore. And then, you know, here comes this defense saying, okay, but they offer me a lot of flexibility. All right. In my job, I can work from home a lot of times. Um, and they're saying, don't take that defensive stance because, you know, then what I said was, okay, well, here's the deal that used to be the case that you needed that flexibility, but your situation has changed. And so therefore your mindset needs to change because that flexibility also means that you need to be um, able to respond to phone calls and emails 24 hours a day. You know, so maybe a job where you worked nine to five and you left your work at work and you didn't take it home with you is a better fit now. And, it, and so this Libra is super evolved and um, didn't then become defensive. And that's what you need to all do here. It says you don't have to go within too far to really think about this because it'll drive you crazy if you try to justify what you're doing and not make changes in order to increase your stability on a day-to-day -day level. Okay. And so they're like, this is something that you're going to work through throughout the month of July. It might not be over by the time you get to the end of July. It's a process, but you have to remember like, what are you defending and why are you defending it? All right. Try to shift your perspective here is kind of the lesson, because this is an issue that you're going to have to work out if you want to date other if you want to date at all. If you want to draw somebody in, you need to be in a good position to welcome somebody into your life with ease. OK, because if you're already struggling on the day to day level with how am I going to get all this shit done? How am I going to meet all my responsibilities? How the hell are you going to have time to date? Right. And, and if you are going to date, how are you going to have conversations with somebody that aren't entirely negative and then turn them off because you're so freaking stressed? And it's not to say that you're a negative person, but it is to say that these are things that we need to kind of work through in the month of July. So come August is like, boom, boom. And oh, by the way, that card of speed where things change overnight, that eight of wands. That's an August card because wands to me, I mean, everybody reads tarot different, right? But wands to me indicate summer and it's an eight. So it's the eighth month. It's August. August, your person could be coming. So July, you need to work everything out so that you are in the best position to welcome them into your life with super a lot of ease because they're coming fast. Okay. Now, um, what are the lessons in love that we are overcoming in the month of July for single Libras? Ownership. Hey, this is exactly what we're talking about. Don't be defensive. 
You're acknowledging your misdeeds and your accomplishments alike, also in time and space, right? At one time, this was right for me. At this time, it's not. <laughs> and you're learning to love them all as lessons. Okay, so what did I learn from this? I love that I learned this and I'm not going to do things this way this time or I'm going to recognize this sooner, okay? So that's where we are for Libras. Um, just to recap, you know, maybe July isn't the month that you meet your soulmate. Maybe the end of July is. But this is a month where we prepare for that. So come August, boom, 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 they fly right into our lives. So love and light. I hope you found that helpful and mwah, see you soon. Thanks so much for watching my video. Check out terriblyaccurate.com for a personal reading. Follow on Snapchat, like on Facebook.